welcome back. You might recall that we've attempted this game before. You probably don't remember, to be honest, and neither do I, so we're gonna try a new game and see if we can learn hiragana, one of the three forms of writing in Japanese. Welcome. This game is designed to teach you the very basics of Japanese, hiragana. Already I question, because, like, Japanese writing has three forms, only one of which is hiragana, so I'm not sure if this is the most basic. But okay. You'll learn how to read and write all the hiragana characters during the course of your adventure. When your adventure is complete, you'll be ready to move on to more advanced Japanese studies. For now, let's begin. Alright. It's cold. But it's a beautiful evening. Claire, what you doing out here? Get out of the snow. Eric, I'm heading to the tavern. Gotta get the chill out of my bones. I'll join you. Come on. Alright, so they're Claire and Eric. They're gonna teach us everything we need to know about Japanese. No. It's lovely and warm in here. Much better than buried, being buried in snow, right? You know how I am. I can't resist admiring the night sky. You haven't changed much these past few years, Claire. Neither of you, Eric. It's good to know. I can always count on you to come looking for me. Alright, it's drinking time. Kanpai. Also, like, there's only one other patron in this establishment, so... We must be early for happy hour. Um, Alright, who's this person with the exclamation point? They're saying hello. Ah, it's Leon. Or Leon. Mind if I join you for a drink? Get your own table, buddy. Uh, weren't you kicked out of the village? Oh. Just a small misunderstanding. The Elder thought that Leon stole his prized pumpkins, but he didn't. He didn't steal the prized pumpkins. And that's everything you need to know about Kanji. Alright. Or Hiragana. It's all behind us now. We had a good old laugh about it. Ha ha ha. But you baked pumpkin pie and gave it to everyone in the village. Yep. We are definitely learning Japanese. Oh yeah. It's good to be back. It's such a beautiful day. Clear skies, pure white snow all around. Simply wonderful. Does it actually snow in Japan? I'm sure sometimes it does, but... Anyway. Since I have some errands, I better not tarry. Where do I go first? Terry means to delay, to, like, I don't know, not do something in a timely manner. Oh, I can't even run away from this person. Excuse me, miss. May I have a moment? A stranger. All right. Hello, sir. How can I help you? All right. Do you understand me when I say this thing? Well, I'm sure half my audience already gets this. I have no idea. I know the little circle at the end is kind of like their period end of statement character, but no. Nope. That's too bad. Alright. And so when they repeat characters in this form, it tends to mean that they're making noises, uh, as opposed to words. Farewell. Alright. Ooh, magic. That's right. We've already learned about pumpkins, cooking, thieving, and now magic. So these are the basic elements of Hiragana. Alright, I sense he's up to evil. Wait. You sense he's up to evil, 
and somehow you feel compelled to follow him. You know, you could just go back to the bar and say, hey guys, let's summon, like, let's mobilize some kind of force to deal with this guy. But no, clear, let's let's go follow the, the powerful dude. There's no resistance. Ha ha ha. He's really showing that dirt something. Um. Stop. Ah, why? You can't. You can't do this. I don't see anybody trying to stop me. Dude, that's because it's happy hour. You saw we were all celebrating the bar. You look like you could use a drink yourself. Alright, so... Oh! Alright, here we go. Question, question, question. Appears. You're awfully brave, girl. However, you can't lay a finger on me if you can't even understand Japanese. You can't hope to dispel my magic. Alright. Is he talking about the weird words he spoke for? Hey. Hey, don't shame the words. Also, how do you know if they're words or not? Alright, let's see what we can do against his hiragana warriors. Oh no. These are like... Okay, it's been like three years since I last attempted this game. I think I recognize these as like... Uh, the upper left one I think is Ba, and the bottom one is E. But we'll see. Either way, I'm not allowed to interact in this battle. So for narrative plot reasons, I just have to sit here getting beat up. Ha, huh, they're strong. What are these things? There's no way. I can't. Oh, can we actually do something in this sequence? Uh, okay, let's go punch... Uh, let's go punch the little Ba thing. Sure. Boom. Zero damage. Alright. Well, we tried. Alright, I guess we'll try again in another few years. It's useless. Do you surrender? See how your attacks have no effect on my Hiragana warriors. Oh, look how he worked the game title name into this little thing. This sequence. The only way you could ever defeat me is if you understood my language. And then I would just make up a new language. Alright, ha ha ha, but you will never learn Japanese. Wait, I thought this was your language. Now it's the language of the people of Japan, or is it your language? Whose is it? It's time to finish this. Goodbye. I'm assuming he's saying like Arigato or something, but you know, I don't know. Oh. Alright. We took 378 damage and we are out. And he says there's nobody else in his way. This village is as good as conquered. You know, like conquered. That's like New Hampshire, right? Anyway, um, it's time to move on to the next helpless village. Ah ha 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 ha! All right. Wait, I thought we were expelled. I can't believe he's so strong. He said to defeat him, I need to learn Japanese. Um, Claire, you're out of your element. You shouldn't have gone chasing him in the first place. But now, anyway. Several weeks have passed since the dreadful events in the village. You mean that crazy dude showing up, punching the dirt, and then running away? Like, what were the dreadful events? Did I miss something? Claire, our heroine, has spent countless hours helping rebuild the village. I guess maybe there was some damage to the village. I did, didn't see it. A uh, mysterious Japanese mage left many of his hiragana warriors roaming the lands around the village. Claire has come up with a plan to defeat them. Okay, everybody, today's the day we begin to fight back against the hiragana warriors. Yep, we've been under siege for weeks now. But today, for some reason, we think this is the right moment for us to start to fight back against uh, the evaders who we've just allowed to roam freely for the past few weeks. Alright. 
I've spent a long time researching this Japanese language that we need to learn in order to dispel the mage's magic power. I wonder if that sounded better in a different language. Once we start learning the language, we can begin to defeat the Hiragana warriors that have invaded the land. I sent a letter to the capital, asking for help with our challenge. The Great Library is sending one of their best scholars to aid us. Wait, we've been under siege for like three weeks, and now you tell everybody that you sent a letter? Like, did you have to wait three weeks to write the letter? Also, are we going to receive this new scholar? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. You could have done things the other way around. Had this person introduce themselves and explain, like, Hey, I got your letter. As opposed to, like, waiting three weeks to announce to the village, Hey, I'm going to send a letter. Alright. Hello. You must be Misaki. I'm Claire. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you, Claire. I've been informed about your situation. All right. All right, you're all welcome and happy and yes. All right, if you've probably heard, I am Japanese. Just like the strange mage that caused the damage here. Wait, Claire. Claire. Do you realize, like, this entire place just got invaded and apparently you're saying demolished or something. And you wrote to invite another person just... Anyway, please don't think we're similar. In truth, he is an evil magician called Noboru. Noburo. There we go, Noburo. My people have been trying to defeat him for generations. You know, I'm beginning to wonder about Claire's ability. Um, like, she sent off this letter, invited this stranger to the town just now is telling everybody that she sent the letter and then like yeah i don't know it seems like something straight out of the music man where somebody comes into town with a cure-all or uh you got trouble trouble in river city all right anyway um we got the solution right here as you've gathered the only way to destroy the hiragana warriors he summons is using knowledge of the Japanese language. Uh, I didn't really gather that. He kind of told us that you need to know Japanese in order to beat me. Like, he said that several times, and he could have been making that up, too, for all we know. But uh, you seem to know what's going on. Starting today, I will be your Japanese teacher. Thank you. Please, teach us everything you know. Gladly. Firstly, let's head inside somewhere warm. Let's get started. Thank you all for volunteering to learn with Claire. Yeah, it, um, it seems like, aside from this noble cause of defeating all these warriors and such, um, it seems like this is... Uh, self-preservation seems to be a motive here that only three citizens seem to even care about. It's great that you are ready to take down the warriors, but you think like everybody in the town would want to know this language if there's all these uh, warriors roaming freely. Thanks, Eric. I knew you could count on you. How great would it be if, like, the entire plot of the game now centered around Eric. And the rest of everybody just went home or went to the bar or whatever. And just waited for Eric to solve everything. You can count on me too, you know. I want to learn Japanese and travel to Japan in the future. Good idea, Leon. Japan is an amazing place. Full of beautiful scenery and wonderful people. And lovely ladies, he bets. Yeah, keep focused, Leon. All right, okay, your attention, please. I'm gonna give you a rundown on what we'll be learning. It's Japanese. All right. You want to make sure you have a notebook and a pen handy. Taking notes is the first step to success. Alas, I do not, but I will mimic all these exercises with my mouse on my mouse pad. 
As I've done before, I still don't have a notebook and a pen handy for this exercise, but I will survive. Nah, that's fine. Alright, an introduction to the language. The Japanese language has a unique writing system made of three different types of characters, known as hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Hiragana is the basic set of characters, and by using them you can form almost any sentence in Japanese. Um, likewise for the others... No, I'm sorry. No, technically katakana is for, like, loan words and such. You could write any sentence in Japanese with kanji, too. But, anyway, they're just saying, like, hiragana, technically you could write and produce Japanese with it. And, um... Anyway, we'll be focusing our efforts on it during your adventure this game. The other two character sets are a bit different. Katakana is almost exclusively used to represent words from foreign languages. Kanji is a complex character set borrowed from Chinese picture symbols. It's quite advanced, but learning it is very rewarding. Back to Hiragana, there are 46 basic Hiragana characters, and each one is used to represent a unique sound or syllable. You can also make additional 25 characters by adding small strokes to specific characters, and we'll learn this as we go. Learning a new language can be daunting. If you begin to feel overwhelmed, take a break and come back with a refreshed mind. With persistence and bravery, you can learn all the hiragana. Wow. I wonder how people in Japan learn this stuff. Like, it takes a lot of bravery. Uh, remember to take lots of notes as we go. Revise your notes every day, and you'll soon commit all the hiragana to memory. Alright, get your notebook and pen ready. We'll learn the first five characters right now. I'll go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and pronounce it. At the end of the chapter, we'll have a quiz, so do your best. Then after the quiz, we'll travel outside the village to fight some hiragana warriors. The first five characters are known as, known as short vowels for a e u e o there we go let's go through them one by one this is a ah. it's yeah you pronounce it ah. ah it's a short vowel let's practice writing it all right gotta learn them all yeah, I feel bad because some folks, like, have, some viewers actually have been following along past the times I've played this game. So it's stroke one, stroke two, stroke three, or do I have that wrong? Stroke one across, two down, three around, and there you got your treble clef. I mean, ah, there we go. Now it's your turn. It's a good time to write. It's a good idea to write the character multiple times. Write it small and large to get it perfect. Here's some tips for you. The horizontal line is slightly curved upward. You should draw the character in three separate strokes: one across, two down, three around. All right. So let's continue our lesson and learn our other vowels. The next character. E. E. It's the equivalent of the vowel E, or I in English. You pronounce it E. E. It's a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. Alright, so you draw the left stroke up a little, and then you draw the right stroke. So you go down here, and then you go across here. One more time down like that and then over here yeah so this is how you write e in hiragana uh, the first line is slightly longer both lines are slightly curved let's learn our next character here we go this is u it's the equivalent of the vowel u in english you pronounce it u yeah i'm wondering like this little mark at the at this part of the brush stroke. Like, how does a brush actually strike this way? 
it's beautiful, but I don't understand, like, how this little... I'm confused because in uh, English we write with a pen, and the pen uh, has a ballpoint. Here you're writing with a brush that has, like, a sharp edge on it. So it is possible to get that little... Um, uh, is the vowel. Let's practice writing it. So, we're at the top stroke and then the bottom stroke. So, the top one and then the bottom one. So, each way of styling this calligraphy looks a little bit different. Um, it's something like a continuation to the next stroke. Yeah, Abigail's probably right. This is made with RPG Maker. You lift the brush after the first stroke, and the lifting of the brush is done in such a way that can land this here. It's interesting. But yeah, you lift it, so you draw that, and then you draw this. And this is, ew. The short vowel. The whole character is vertically long. Make sure you tilt the top stroke correctly. Alright, let's continue our lesson. Get ready for the next character. A. Eh. Alright, you pronounce it A. Eh. A? Eh? No, A. Eh. Let's practice writing it. Alright, so we do our top stroke. Then we go up and down. And I think this is a single continuous stroke for the bottom part. One more time, we do the top stroke, then we go up and down and back over. That looks... If you had to write this a lot, that looks like it's something that could generate a wrist injury if you're not careful. But yeah, the whole character requires just two strokes. So the top stroke, and then the bottom across. It's... Let's continue. The next character. Ah. Uh, Abigail worked enough on Ruby scripts for Mario... Or RPG Maker XP to recognize the... Yeah. I did download an RPG Maker. I just have absolutely no time. But um, you're right that this looks like other RPG Maker games. But like even the way it prints out the script at the bottom. It's just the timing of how that prints out. And the font they've selected and such. This is quintessential RPG Maker territory. Okay, this is oh, This is the equivalent of vowel O in English. You pronounce it O. 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 It's a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. Alright, so we go across. And then down. And over. And then we write the top little stroke. Let's practice that again. Go across and down, left and over. And then a little stroke in the upper right. Practice writing the character now. Some tips. This one's tricky. Make it in just three strokes. The vertical line is to the left of the character, not in the center. So... Yeah, it's interesting how this is stylized. Uh, the This little stroke in the upper right here styles a bit differently. Um, but the point is that this is not like the letter T. This O. Oh, um, uh, this little staff here is on the left side of the character. Let's continue our lesson. Oh, right. So there are five short vowels. A, I, U, E, O. So, yep, these are the basic vowels of the Hiragana system. Uh, I am kind of curious. Like, given how many ways there are to combine letters together, and given what the other syllables are, I'm curious... Like, you could write an English sentence and remove all the vowels. And people could figure out what the sentence was. I assume the same is similar of characters in Japanese, that if you were to accidentally leave out vowels, folks would at least understand the other 
uh, characters and be able to infer what le letters and sounds had been omitted. But certainly for a new reader, it's important to have the vowels in there. Uh, have I played Ao Oni? I have not. Yeah, A I U E O. Alright, that leads us to the end of our first lesson. Sure, let's save our progress. Yeah. We obtained Study Guide 1. Woo! How did you go with the lesson? Good, I think. Means it's a lot to take in. Alright, yeah, it's quite a bit to remember. The best thing to do is to practice. Writing and saying the characters aloud. Make sure to get the pronunciation perfect as, form, as it will play a big part in forming Japanese words. Misaki, I have a couple questions. Yeah, me too. I haven't said anything for the last ten minutes, but I got questions now. Alright, let's go, Misaki. Uh, what do we want to know? Well, so far we've learned five characters. But it doesn't seem like I can make any words from just these characters. Yeah. Oh, you can't get rid of the vowels. Japanese pronunciation is vowel-centric, but I'm curious... Okay, yes. I guess? Um, what confuses me, though... Like, the pronunciation, yes, but the meaning? Um, like, yeah, you would struggle to pronounce English without the vowels as well. But, uh, in terms of being able to understand a word... I assume that much of the ability to read this script has very little to do with these five characters, and being able to read has much to do with all the other characters. But I could be wrong. Now you're right, pronunciations never matter, but yeah. Alright, we've learned all the vowels, so we'll need to start uh, learning some consonants as well, which we'll start next lesson. I'm having trouble writing the characters out. They're way different from English letters. What should I do? Practice makes perfectly on. The order of the strokes is probably the most important part of writing. Later on, you'll be able to review this lesson, and so watch the animations once more and memorize the order of the strokes. Any more questions, guys? Alright, here we go. Wait, I thought he had questions. Does he not? Okay. Uh, let's move to our first quiz. I need to quiz you on what you've learned before I send you out to go fighting. You know, that thing that dealt you like 400 damage last time. I want to make sure that you're ready so you don't die out there. Last village I went to, things didn't go so well. So, here we go. Question 1. What is this character? This is Ah. Correct. Well done. Question 2. What is this character? This is Eh. Correct. Well done. What is this character? I think this is Ooh. Yes, I'm right. Woo! What is the character for the English vowel O? Oh. Well, we know this one's... This is E. Eh, this is E. So this one's gotta be O oh here. Uh, just process of elimination, you know? We only got five characters to work with. Um, but yeah, already, like, I've forgotten a character. Alright. Well done. What's the character for the English vowel E? Here we go. For I. We've completed the first quiz. Yeah, let's go out and fight some monsters. Or warriors. Um, I'm proud of you all. I think you're ready to challenge Hiragana warriors in battle. The uh, surrounding village, village are fairly weak. Using the knowledge you now have, I'm confident you can defeat them. We'll go after the bigger and stronger Hiragana warriors after future lessons. One step at a time. Alright, here we go. Alright, so use the arrow keys or WASD to move. And confirm selections with the enter key. Alright. Nice. Can access the menu with the escape key and confirm actions with enter. You get stats and armor and stuff. And save unless you die. 
so you can reload from the save point, etc. Um, I can sense Hiragana warriors nearby. Everybody be on your guard. Woo! Alright. We got O, oh, U, and Ah. They're all here. Let's go get them. Careful, Eric Leon. Eric attacks. He got it wrong. Way to go, Eric. Leon attacks. Also, no damage. Nope. Physical attacks don't work in this game. You can't just attack them head on. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My first Japanese word. It's all vowels. Wait. I. Oh, interesting. Didn't realize you could produce an actual word with just the vowels. Um. Oh no! Eric and Leon have been kidnapped. Two of the warriors fled, carrying Eric and Leon with them. Well, oh no, what do we do, Misaki? Should we go back to the bar? Um, let's listen carefully. We can take down this one. In order to defeat them, we have to use our Japanese knowledge to hit them with our matching character or letter. For example, we're fighting against uh, this character right now. This means you need to hit it with the English equivalent character. Hmm, that's the letter A, right? That's it. When it's our turn to attack, select English and... Okay, you get the gist. Yeah, if you get the right answer, they take damage. If you get the wrong answer, they don't take damage. Gotta take turns! Yep. It's an RPG Maker game, and you got, like, healing items, support skills, magic points, all that good stuff. Uh, and you can select the answer command to attack enemies. Alright. And your characters will learn more support skills as they grow stronger. You earn money and experience points and stats and stuff. Alright. Let's go answer this. Let's attack with Ah. Okay, then I... Oh, then I have to select... What do I do here? With Misaki as well. Targeting Ah. With Ah. There we go. Yeah, get wrecked. Woo! We really know our Hiragana now. Oh, Ali means red. Oh, that's interesting. I could swear that, like, I've seen... It was a Danganronpa or something? Where they actually named a character Aoi? Um, I'm probably mispronouncing that, too, because it has three vowels in it. I'm really not sure where to put the stress, but, uh, yeah. That's cool that it means red. <laughs> it means blue. Okay, I'll take your word for it. You know, I think there's, like, a Hawaiian fish that's, like, Oni? But that's Hawaiian, like, the kingdom of Hawaii that's not Japanese at all. We did it! Alright, time to celebrate and go home. But Eric and Leon, they got captured. Let's go after them. We can't have got very far. Alright. We're gonna explore the forest? Wait, I thought we were gonna take the path, not the forest. Funny shaped bottles are a popular drink. Ramune. Yeah, it's a delightful drink. I think I've had it once. It's very sweet. Um, so, yep. You can save the game for the menu. Alright, now I think shift it. Okay. There's some way to automatically run. Alright, is it this way I'm supposed to run to go save Eric and stuff? I forget. Who are you? What happened? You got your butt kicked. That's what happened. How embarrassing. Yeah, you really should have studied. Do you feel okay? Are you hurt? Oh. He's got a broken leg, so we'll have to carry him or something. Alright. We saved him. Woo! And I seem to remember. Well, I was gonna say there's a treasure or something in the lower right corner. He's got eh. 
And, oh. Let's go fight him. Answer. Yeah, this... Oh, wait, I can use the keyboard to navigate some of this. Right? Wait, no, I can't type the letter E to, like, select E. I have to click it with the mouse. Alright, that's cool. Whatever. Hmm. Yeah, nobody would write things this way. It might be in a script that's easier for um, folks to understand, but nobody would write it this way. Because that's a lot of characters to write for just one word. Alright, let's keep attacking the one on the left. Yeah. Man. As cool as the battle theme is, I guess, um, it'd be kind of nice if uh, combat could go a little bit swifter. Alright. Uh, wait, I could actually run from battle, couldn't I? I mean, that would kind of defeat the whole point of the game, but... I guess maybe in the future, for brevity's sake, I might run from some of these. <laughs> they would write it this way, but that's entering kanji hell. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize... Uh, that's interesting for a word such as blue. That looks like a rather sophisticated character on the left. Of course I say on the left as if that's a thing. Alright, we got gold and stuff. Uh, wasn't there a treasure or something down here? Oh. Well, I mean, there's a character. You got captured. Luckily, we found you and didn't abandon you. Are you injured? Hurt his arm a bit. Wow, we got a guy with an injured leg and a guy with an injured arm. I guess... yeah. Let's go. Looks like everybody's okay. But there's still some more warriors to clear out around here. We should head to the exit north of here and check out what enemies are beyond. Alright, let's make our way north. Alright, fine, if we must. Alright, we re-encounter Ah. Again. Man, I'm surprised I can't use the keyboard to issue the attacks. <laughs> That seems like kind of a large oversight, but maybe writing the battle script is actually really hard. I don't know. Also, I wonder... Well, I mean, the game tells you that if you do fail, you'll just end up restarting. Like, if you run out of hit points or something, uh, you'll just go back to the previous save point. Yeah, we gained so much XP from that combat. Alright. Oh, okay, this is what I thought. I went the wrong way here. I already got uh and oh. Let's just run. Bye. Okay. Yeah, for brevity's sake. We'll have plenty of chances to fight uh, warriors in the future. Alright, we got E here. Oh, we got the upper hand. Alright, we're gonna show this warrior. We're so gonna show E what's up. Oh. Yeah, okay. I guess I could see that. Still, like, here's a very... This is, like, the focal point of the entire game. So even though, in general, RPG Maker doesn't do that, I don't know. It seems like... I don't know, maybe they were in a hurry producing the game or something. Like, a lot of things seem to be produced well, but if that's the focal point of the game, they could have spent some time and mapped out all 26 characters, I guess. But it might be difficult to script it out, I guess. 
All right, so this is Ah. Our good friend Ah that we keep meeting all over and over again. We write it one stroke across the top, one down, and the third around. And that's Ah. Oh, nice! So since I leveled up, it's not going to take me a million hits to win these fights. That's nice that I don't have to identify it that many times. Alright, that's the forest exit up ahead. Then we made it. There are much stronger Hiragana warriors outside the forest. As soon as we've taken care of the remaining Hiragana warriors around here. Alright, we need to learn more before we brave the dangers outside the forest. Let's head back to town, regroup, and get ready for another study session. Thankfully, because we're in an RPG world, exiting the forest to the north allows us to go back toward the town in the south. Yeah, let's save our progress. Alright. Can add some scripts. Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> uh, do you have your notebook and pen ready? We're going to learn our second set of Hiragana characters. There's five new characters to learn in this lesson. Let's see how we're doing on time. We're okay. I'll go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and to pronounce it. And we'll have a quiz. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Ka. Ki. Ku. Ke. Ko. Notice how these are similar to our vowel sounds. You pronounce these with a hard K in the front. But otherwise, these... Um... Alright, let's learn these characters. We'll pronounce each one for us so we get the right idea. These are commonly used in Japanese. Since each character represents a syllable instead of a single letter, you can form full Japanese words quite quickly. Here's our first new character, Ka. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a syllable. Full, you called it Ka. ka. The way we write Ka is... Stroke across and down, stroke down, and then this mark on the right. Let's do this again. Ka, cross and down, left and down, and stroke on the right. Practice writing the character now. Some tips. You should draw this in three separate strokes. I'm not even sure how you would attempt to do it in more or fewer than three strokes, but okay. Be, pay careful attention to how the lines tilt across and down, uh, down, and then the mark on the right. Make sure to put the third stroke in the right place. Let's continue. The next character, Ki. It's constant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. If I remember correctly, we see a similar character, I think, in Dragon Ball on the on the martial arts uniforms, but I could be mistaken. But you pronounce it Ki. Ki. Let's practice writing it. A stroke across, another stroke across, a stroke down, and then the bottom part. So is this three strokes or four? Because, like, this, this is beautiful here, but it looks like three strokes. But I think this is written with one, two, three, and then four strokes, and that's key. Practice writing the character now. Depending on the font or script, it can be written in three or four strokes. You could optionally split the tail. Um, so this is key. Let's continue our lesson. The next character, Ku. It's a consonant, vowel by vowel, and makes up a single syllable. Let's practice writing Ku. Alright. Uh, one single stroke. Kind of looks like a less than sign. This is Ku. Practice writing character now. Single stroke, the upper and lower half are the same length. Let's continue and learn our next character. K. K. This is one that last time I played this game gave me fits for whatever reason. 
It looks kind of like E, but no, this is K. Or K. K. Let's practice writing K. So stroke on the left, stroke across, stroke on the right. Kind of reminds me of how you'd write the letter H. All right, down, cross, and down. And this is K. The third stroke is longer than the first stroke. Be sure to curve the third stroke as it completes. Get ready for the next character. This is Ko. Uh, followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. Ko. Here we go. This is top stroke. Bottom stroke. That's Ko. Alright. Top stroke. Bottom stroke. Practice writing the character now. Some tips make this just two strokes. That's it. We've learned this set of hiragana. These five characters. Uh, oh gosh. Ka, ki, ku, ke, ko. Are quite commonly used. So be sure to memorize them. Now that we've covered the characters, there's an interesting tidbit you should know. What would you think if I told you we could learn another five new characters within a few minutes? Hey, you'd say I was crazy, right? Well, I'll show you what I mean. First, would you like to save your progress? Sure. What's the worst that could happen? There's an amazing feature of the Hiragana writing system called Dakuten, or Tenten. Dakuten are little symbols that look like the above image. What are these characters used for? When you add them to another character, you can make an entirely new sound. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. This seems like quite early for them to point this out. Uh, but here this diminishes the ka to form uh, ga. When you see this, I mean, I guess in some way it's inspiring to the player. If they're like... They've learned 10 symbols or 10 characters, and they're starting to get, like, the sense that, wait, you told me there were 40 of these characters, and uh, I've only learned 10, and I'm already struggling a bit. This might encourage the player a little bit, but okay. So yeah, any hiragana that starts with a K will turn into a symbol starting with G. It's always pronounced with a hard G. Don't be tempted to pronounce it with a good J. Oh, wait. So, ka and ga. I mean, that's a hard K, a hard G. But the G is softer than the K. We'll go through our new characters and show us what happens when you add Dakuten. This is ga. You pronounce it ga. You write ka as normal, and then you add the Dakuten marks. Na. Do you want to pronounce it again? Sure. Na. Na. So that's ga. Alright, practice writing it in your notebook now. One stroke. Oh goodness. One stroke over. One stroke down. Mark on the right. And then dakuten. So yeah, it's a stroke over. The one down. Right stroke in the right place. And then dakuten marks. This is gi. You pronounce it gi. gi. Do you want to pronounce it again? No, we got it. Pronunciation's not perfect, but practice writing it in the notebook. This is gu. Yeah, it's gu. like ku, but you add the marks. Gi. This is ge. Right, ke is normal. And then add your Dakotin marks to the upper right. Let's not bother pronouncing it again. Practice go. again. And then we have go. So, go. no big surprise there, right? Practice starting this in the notebook. So, yep, there we got ga. Oh, gi. Gu. Ga. And then go. 
So, we've attained study guide 2. Woo! We made it. Great lesson today. I hope you've taken a bit of information from this. Sure did, Misaki. Thanks to you, I know way more hiragana than before. I really like the Dakuten marks. Who knew it would be so easy to turn one sound into another? We can count all the hiragana we now know. Now we know 15. Thanks, Misaki. I'm so glad you're all enjoying the lesson, but now it's quiz time. Okay, what is this character? This is Ko. Correct, well done. What is this character? This is Ki. No, uh, this is Ke. Looks like E, but it's Ke. That's what it is. Um, three, what is this character? This is, uh, let's see, there's a tiny little Dakuten mark right there. Doesn't really stand out very much here, but if you read it carefully, uh, this is Gi. What is the character for Ka? Well, this is E. Eh. This is U. I'm sorry, this is E. Eh. This is U. This is Ka. There we go. What is the character for the English sound? Ge. Alright, so it's like Ke here, but with the Dakuten mark right there. This is Ge. Correct, well done. Congratulations. You've completed the quiz. Let's take a break from our study from now. Head into town and relax. Yeah, I concur. This is definitely break time territory. We've been going the better part of an hour. We've learned 15 characters. Made a lot of good progress. Wow. There's still more characters for us to learn, and the more that we learn, the harder the quizzes are going to be. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. But yeah, I definitely need a break by this point. Um, do I understand why I can't get... Well, yeah, no, I'm just talking about the five individual vowel characters. Separate from the a, i, u, e, o. Like, now we've got other characters that are both a consonant and a vowel. So I'm actually quite a bit confused about that. But, um, I know, like, obviously we need vowel sounds to pronounce things. I'm just talking about those five characters in question. Like, yeah, frequently a word, I guess, does start with a vowel, so actually that's a bit different than English, where most words do not begin with a vowel. Most words begin with a consonant in English, although there are some words that do start with a vowel. Um, Although all the vowels that start the words in English tend to be silent, so that's pretty great, isn't it? Um, so... Anyway, yeah, let's take a little break, head back into town and relax. I think I'll take a break here. Woo! That was... We're definitely learning Japanese and surviving so far, so... Got something to be proud of.